Welcome to the Unseen Universe! <laughs> Our guests have decided to join us again. Welcome back, Fuzzy. Welcome back, Fuzzy Cat. High five! We're back with another one of our favorites. We love minerals and gems and rocks. Today, we're doing a mineral called Kyanite. Wait a minute, what's that on top of your head? It's Kyanite! There it is, guys. Look at this kind of. I have a sample ready to go here, and I have two samples for these critters here. Let's not waste any time, folks. We have Kyanite, beautiful, ready to go. Here we go. There is Kyanite. Beautiful, beautiful gem. Look at those it colors. Has some green and red on. Green and red. What colors do you see? Nano, nano, red. So kyanite is a very interesting okay. gem. Kyanite displays anisotropism. Can we say anisotropism? Anisotropism. That's close enough. <laughs> anisotropism means that this gem's hardness varies with its crystal structure. Some kyanites are really strong and hard. Some kyanites are a little bit softer, and yeah. And weak. And weak. Is your kyanite hard and strong? It seems pretty strong to me. Look at that beautiful kyanite. There's one a hundred times, yes. Is it made, is that made of a rock? That it, yeah, is it made out of a rock? It is the rock, baby. It's the mineral called kyanite. Man. And it has anisotropism. What a silly word, folks. What a silly, silly word. <laughs> Let's continue our adventure. Next up, we will go to 200 times magnification. Here we go. Whoa, check that out. The colors getting bigger. The colors are getting bigger. I see like a letter C, something that looks like a C. Beautiful purples and greens, shades of greens. And Fuzzy is getting groomed because maybe he is itchy. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with Fuzzy, but he needs a grooming folks. <laughs> he also needs a bath. <laughs> there we go. Very fuzzy cat. Here, hold your kite at you silly little fuzzy. Somebody help me, folks. Somebody help me. <laughs> now I have to control four critters here. Oh my gosh. So there's 200 times magnification. Does it remind you of anything? The street when it's broken. <gasps> That's right. And when somebody made a scar on the street. Wow, he's absolutely right. It has cracks and crevices, and those remind him of cracks in the street. That's a great observation. Hi, <laughs> Bob. What do you see there? He's still getting grilled and clean. Let's leave him alone. <laughs> Next up, 500 times magnification. Let's go. Whoa, beautiful. Yes. That purple is really coming through. So folks, kyanite comes from the Greek word, which is where we get the color cyan. Cyan is a dark blue color. And this one is also very dark blue. If you guys can see here, it is a dark blue. It's derived from the Greek word, which means dark blue. Wow, look at that beautiful kyanite gem. So there you have it, folks. What did you guys think of the kyanite gem? Yeah, what was your favorite part about it? Because there was cracks. You like the cracks, yeah. It looked like a sword, like a drought. Like a drought? Oh yes, when there's a drought, the ground does get cracked and baked. You're absolutely right. Does anyone want to know what my favorite part of Kyanite was? I really loved the color! <laughs> the rainbow colors were amazing to look at. Maybe one day I'll get a necklace made of kyanite and it will hang around my neck and I'll be a very pretty boy. Who wants a kyanite necklace? I don't think we can afford that, folks. <laughs> that was a trick question. <laughs> Anywho, folks, thank you for joining us. Come back next time as we continue to explore the unseen universe!